The race for best actor at the Oscars is wide open, so say the experts at Gold Derby, who include Ann Thompson of IndieWire, Pete Hammond of Deadline Hollywood, I'm Tom O'Neill of Gold Derby, and Ann, let's start with you. Bradley Cooper is out front, according to the experts. Can he really win? I'm giving it to Ryan Gosling. Oh, but Ryan Gosling's That's performance is so understated, <laughs> just like Neil Armstrong was. Yeah. That's that why there's a high degree of difficulty, yeah. and I think and that that's the, why Gary I Cooper think like there's a those great, bombastic there's a big performances. No, he's, a, he's playing, what's so great about this movie, he's playing a hero, he's playing a stalwart, straight, Honest, talented, gifted, but they love the ham bone stuff like Gary Oldman man. winning last year. No, I think right now in this crazy town we're living in, maybe Ryan, Neil Armstrong, as it's played a by fine Ryan Gosling, but is know, exactly what we need. Uh, I say it's a Gary and Cooper. And he has a big crying scene, too. Yeah, That's he's true. channeling Gary Cooper's kind of style of acting. Taciturn. Here. And, um, and, and I could see Cooper in this role, and I thought Ryan was great in First Man. I, you know, we have to see how the picture does, how it holds in there, and the general reaction. I think Bradley Cooper, now having seen Star is Born twice, is sensational he in is. that role. Of course, he Man, delivers. does he make that work even more than Lady Gaga. I thought it was it, she was able to be so good because he was letting her and he was really giving that scene partner kind of thing. I agree. And, mm -hmm. um, and boy, he was just it brought me to tears at the end, you know, just the way he played it and the way he channeled Sam Elliott, the one that plays his older brother, his voice, he literally does steal his voice as the character says and you hear that. It's a great piece of acting by Bradley who also does his own singing really good. Degree of difficulty. He yeah. could win it. I'm, I'm not and saying it's a slam dunk. To this. We have to see, as you said, how these films play I out. Know, I know, but, you, but, but the, we had a breakout at the Toronto Film Festival for Green Book and Vigo shooting up the He was the, amazing. Uh, yeah, Vigo's the one to watch here. Because right, right, he right. does transform himself, gain the weight. And uh, they're all going to see the movie. And he's got the accent. And I've already heard. He's a lug. The uh, casting director I had dinner with, uh, who knows all the everything about acting, it's just like unbelievable to listen to her. Says this is Vigo's to lose. Uh, she they loves love Rainbow. Vigo. Remember, yeah. he yeah. gets nominated even for little tiny yeah. Yeah. road. And all. Uh, she right, definitely right, right. is sensing the Vigo uh, momentum. I happen to think that Mahershala Ali is a co-lead. I know right, he's going right, to be right. in supporting, and I believe and he'll from do what well I've heard, it's, it's his choice. It's it's his people made that decision. I was told. But um, no one makes that it's decision. It's really a two-hander. They're even, yeah, Steven. It is a two-hander. But it's up to the actor's branch in all of these situations to say one way or the other what they are, lead or support. And so you never know how that's going to come down. Has anybody seen Vice yet, Christian Bale? No. no. Okay, so we don't know there. Uh, Rami Malek, Bohemian. Haven't Rhapsody. seen that either. Uh, I'm seeing that next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to be, we'll see it next week. Uh, but uh, again, Rami Malek does not do his own singing in that. That oh, is Freddie oh, Mercury's well, dubbed, voice. Okay. And when it's not Freddie Mercury, they hired a sound-alike for oh. Freddie Mercury. And Rami Malek has just a tiny bit of singing to add to that. Yeah, but it's the cross-gender stuff. It, it, so they again, love all that I mean, stuff. Hey, Robert Redford got a standing ovation at Toronto. Were you were there that night. It was so wonderful for... Uh, well, I for, would imagine he would. But the movie's so charming. It's yeah, a real surprise. That's another case of a little movie, slight, charming, yeah, delightful. I'm right. very fond of it myself. And where and, he's announced that it's but, his last act. And that has a narrative, and he has a narrative, but it has to, again, it has to sustain all the way through. But look what's happening now. Another man who's announced it's his last acting, too, most likely, Clint, Clint Eastwood, is in the race yeah. with the mule, yeah. which is now opening in December. Octogenarians yeah, unite. Going for this. And he's so never that, won in acting. He won for directing. No, and Robert Redford's never won for acting. He won in directing. Mm, that's a no, good point, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> you know your Oscars here. Now, Willem Dafoe <laughs> won in Venice for Eternity's Gate. I love this movie. I, I think he will definitely he was, get nominated. He's okay. phenomenal. I and just saw it. Seen not, great. Since, not since Last Temptation of Christ, where he has those pure soulful blue eyes. You feel his artistry. And do you know this is the perfect bookend movie for Last Temptation of Christ? Because it almost In case ends. you're looking for a book, I don't want to give a spoiler alert here, but there is a scene in it, I won't say where it comes, that is like right out of Last Temptation I of know. Christ. And um, boy, I stopped watching Willem Dafoe. If it wasn't for his voice, I wouldn't have like thought about him at all. But I stopped watching him almost five minutes into this movie. I thought I was watching Van Gogh. It was so and, real. You know, degree of difficulty, which is a phrase you like. It's um, <laughs> watch him paint. It's not fake. 
It's he learned how to paint for those scenes, and he's but very... But the director, Julian Schnabel, is a painter. Yeah, very convincing. And it's about that. It's about art. It's about expression. And it, it is about the creative... And so is A Star is Born, by the yeah, way. Yeah, this is about the creative process, because Star is Born's main theme is that he's disappointed in her when she sells out and becomes a Madonna-like pop star. Right. And that's not what he saw. He, he wanted the purity of art, and that's exactly... Uh, and it's also about questioning yourself as an artist because he's constantly saying, am I really good or am I really somebody for another generation, for future people? I was very moved by that. I thought that was touching. It's a very slow-moving movie. I don't want to say it's like watching paint dry, but some people will because you have to give into it because you are watching it unfold rather than speed along, which I really thought Schnabel got. But this is a case yeah. where Defoe is definitely a career play, and he came well, in with some momentum from last year last for Florida year, yeah, Project. Yeah. I've not seen First Reformed. Uh, seven Gold Derby experts have it. Ethan, uh, Ethan Hawke is awesome. At, uh, two of, of our seven He's have been that winning. He's not going to get nominated. Really? Well, it's way too early, number one. And number two, I don't think it's widely seen. It's going to take critics groups to bring that one. If, if critics they could can help. make a movie, yes. then this is the one they can make. And, and they, they can, might be wanting to help Paul Schrader out. And Ethan Hawke, of course, is a terrific People actor really like him. He's he very well respected. He was great in Juliet Naked, too. I love that uh, Steve Carell has been an Oscar nominee. Can he do it again? Um, he could. Uh, not this year. He could, you know, Beautiful Boy. I haven't Boy's seen stuff. the Welcome to Marwin one. No, no one I has. I think Beautiful Boy is owned by Timothy Chalamet, who will be going and supporting. Yeah, that's probably true. Although I thought Carell was really good in it. Uh, Hugh Jackman frontrunner. Yes, uh, I love Hugh in that movie. Um, and again, again, how that movie does at the box office is going to, you know, yeah, will it? has it, to be perceived it's as a successful. It's political movie. So many people, when I talk about that movie, have never heard of Gary Hart. They don't know who he is. This is who it's about. You know, it's about 30 years ago. It's got a great poster with the Gary Hart for President bus going over the cliff. I love that. But notice <laughs> that on the poster is not Hugh Jackman. And that's an interesting thing when you've got your lead actor as your primary hope for an Oscar, but he's not even on the poster. This may be a teaser poster, and he'll be on the next one. Um, but he gives a good performance, but this is a movie yeah. that's going to have to do well at the box it office. It is. It's going to have to hang in there. And I think there. it may be a challenge for them. It's always. It's opening on Election Day. so we'll It's see. all about momentum, and it, that means you at Gold Derby have to set the pace of the race to let Hollywood know who's really out front. Make your predictions prove that you know this stuff better than we do, because some of you do.